Good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Chris Bedford with your uh, race weather briefing for the cruising division of the 108th race to Mackinac. We've got a uh, pretty active weather pattern that's coming up for us here. You're going to need to uh, continue to monitor the forecast going forward even uh, after you've started your uh, uh, race up to Mackinac. So keep uh, uh, monitoring you know, VHS broadcasts from the NOAA weather radio um, and uh, be very aware of your uh, what's going on around you with respect to cloud development and uh, if you see lightning of course there will be uh, thunderstorms approaching and um, you want to make sure that uh, you're protecting your uh, uh, boat and crew and doing taking the appropriate actions um, and uh, we will I'll go through the uh, uh, thunderstorm forecast here in a second and uh, you'll see uh, those times where we're most at risk uh, we do have some grib files available on the uh, race uh, weather page the uh, address is there on the slide uh, and those links in that section of the page you can go and uh, download uh, grib data if you have routing software or display, grib display software uh, and uh, take a look at those and get a better feel for at least what the models are saying uh, is going to happen but uh, just to keep in mind that they're models and they don't really predict the exact timing or location of thunderstorms so you will need to uh, keep a weather eye outside the boat and uh, monitor things going forward. Here is the uh, severe weather outlook for today. Uh, we do have a marginal risk of uh, severe thunderstorms across the southern portion of Lake Michigan uh, just off here of Chicago. This would be most likely this afternoon if it's going to take place and uh, north of that uh, lake's in pretty good shape but uh, for the cruising class uh, you'll be uh, keeping an eye out to the uh, west and northwest here for uh, possible thunderstorm development moving out across the lake uh, along a frontal boundary that I'll show you in the uh, uh, forecast charts here in a second. That uh, threat uh, continues tomorrow. It's not quite as bad, but uh, we will have a low pressure area developing up uh, in the um, uh, northern central plains region, and that could start to send some more storms out across the lake, particularly later tomorrow and into Sunday. So uh, the um, although there's just a marginal risk of severe thunderstorms on the uh, uh, Wisconsin shore. Uh, that area could expand east, and so we'll need to keep an eye on that. Definitely for Sunday, we're expecting a warm front and a cold front to both cross the lake uh, during the day on, uh, at different times, of course, on Sunday. Uh, that could produce some uh, uh, severe thunderstorms. There is a marginal risk across the lake. I think uh, the main time frame of risk is during the day on Sunday. Uh, from uh, sort of early to mid-morning uh, through about mid-afternoon. But uh, again, that could, that could change. Once that front clears through, uh, the thunderstorm risk decreases, and things look pretty good for Monday uh, with respect to thunderstorms and going into Tuesday. <clears throat> the surface chart for this morning shows a uh, cold front just kind of sagging down south across the lake this morning. Uh, we had some thunderstorms out well ahead of that front uh, last night uh, in the Chicago area. All that activity is down to the south now. Uh, this front will pretty much stall right across the southern part of the lake this afternoon, and we could see some activity fire up. So that's why we have this marginal risk of severe thunderstorms in the forecast for the uh, uh, waters around Chicago, uh, southern part of the lake, uh, later this afternoon and this evening. On the satellite picture, we see that large area of cloud. Uh, most of it's down south of Chicago now. This is the uh, remnants and debris from uh, the thunderstorms that went through uh, last evening. On the uh, radar picture, we can see that those thunderstorms, um, or what's left of them, the area of rain down to the south. And again, these are generally moving to the south and, and not really a, a big concern for us. We'd be looking up in this area here for new development, uh, uh, sort of in southern Wisconsin, northeast Iowa, uh, southeastern Minnesota, northern Illinois, of course, uh, for anything that might get to us this afternoon. Here's the wind field across the lake as of this morning. We've got uh, a light southerly uh, flow across sort of the southern third of the lake and then to the north, north of that cold front that's analyzed on the chart, the winds are more northwest and lighter. 
on the wave chart, uh, pretty calm seas, uh, relatively speaking. Uh, at the moment, uh, some bigger waves uh, further up the lake, but nothing really of uh, uh, big significance at the moment. And here's our lake surface temperatures. We're a bit warmer on the lake than we were for the race last year. Um, that can have an effect on lake breezes. Uh, generally, a warmer lake means slightly weaker lake breezes, but stronger uh, land breezes. But uh, I think in the big picture, uh, there's going to be uh, more action going on across the lake, so it may not, uh, lake temperature may not come into play too much. We'll be looking at bigger weather systems and also um, showers and thunderstorms to kind of drive the winds across the lake. Okay, on the forecast chart for this afternoon, we see uh, that stationary front right across the southern part of Lake Michigan. Um, there's some showers and thunderstorms down to the south, uh, but we do need to watch up here, as I said, across northern Illinois and uh, into southern Wisconsin for possible uh, development going on this afternoon and moving out to the east uh, across the lake. Now with that stationary front in close proximity, we've got uh, fairly light winds expected. Um, at uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon, we're expecting sort of a light uh, southeast uh, lake breeze to be occurring on the uh, Chicago shore, uh, but then up to the north, pretty much light and variable conditions, and then a light southerly up in the northern part of the lake. So I'm not looking for a, a very quick start here. I think uh, it's going to be a kind of a slow go for the cruising division as they uh, depart out of Chicago today. And uh, going, looking at the forecast for 7 o'clock tonight, you can see the winds are still staying quite light across the southern half of the lake. Uh, still sort of a light southeasterly along the uh, Wisconsin shore and then very light winds and maybe even a northerly out toward the Michigan shore uh, t uh, this evening. On the surface chart uh, forecast for this evening uh, or overnight, this is a 1 a.m. tomorrow morning, uh, that stationary front will have sagged just to the south of the lake. But uh, you'll notice that there's uh, some showers and, and a thunderstorm cluster across uh, uh, northwest Illinois and um, uh, western, um, um, sorry, eastern Iowa. And uh, th that area will be moving to the east. So again, uh, with the slow start, uh, boats kind of lagging uh, behind, uh, could see some, some action uh, even into this evening. I, I, again, we're, we're at risk this afternoon. Uh, but that risk could continue into the overnight period. And here's the wind field for tonight. You can see it's still quite light across the southern half of the lake, and we still have kind of a split breeze between the uh, area off Chicago and just up um, uh, off Wisconsin. Uh, we're there. We have more of a light westerly flow occurring. That's a bit of land breeze uh, potentially up in that area and uh, also a little bit of gradient and perhaps outflow from uh, thunderstorms out to the uh, northwest. Now looking at the uh, forecast chart for tomorrow morning, we see that stationary front still to the south. There's a cold front that's trying to make its way south across uh, uh, northern Michigan, northern Wisconsin, and winds are shifting to the north up in the northern part of the lake and very light winds still occurring across the southern part of the lake. And uh, here's that um, uh, wind field now for um, for uh, Saturday morning and uh, we'll go to the forecast chart for I'm sorry I, I bopped across there my apologies there we go here we are this is the forecast uh, um, uh, for Saturday at 7 a.m. we see that northerly wind with that little weak frontal boundary sagging south across the northern part of the lake and light uh, wet, uh, easterly winds across the southern uh, part of the lake. But again, it's just pretty much light and variable across the southern part of the lake at this time. And uh, so again, not looking for a very quick start for the cruising fleet. It's going to be a long uh, first 24 hours, I think. Then on Saturday afternoon, we'll start to see the winds start to increase from the southeast across uh, Wisconsin. And um, that's going to be due to a developing low pressure, which we'll see on the next uh, surface chart. And so we should see some easterly winds start to fill and southeast winds start to fill on the sort of western half of Lake Michigan off the Wisconsin shore. Uh, there will be a little bit of a lake breeze going over on the Michigan shore uh, during the afternoon on Saturday. 
and here's Saturday evening. Uh, so we've got that still that stationary front with still a risk of thunderstorms across the southern part of the lake, but uh, pretty quiet up across the northern part of the lake. And uh, out to the northwest, we see that uh, low pressure area uh, developing in the uh, in the plains and this warm front, which is going to be important because that warm front is going to come through on uh, Sunday. Now looking at the wind field chart for uh, this is the uh, tomorrow evening, uh, we see that easterly flow starting to pick up and southeasterly flow starting to pick up across Wisconsin and it's filling into the lake a little bit. And we see that trend uh, continue as we go into uh, Sunday morning. And at this time we see the warm front just starting to move up across the lake with southeast winds ahead of it and a building southerly flow uh, behind it. Uh, from the south. So wind conditions looking better by uh, tomorrow night. Again for the cruising division very slow first 24 hours but then things start to pick up as that as that warm front approaches. By Sunday morning we have a warm front that's coming through uh, the lake moving up to the north and uh, we can see that that um, that cold front, uh, there is a cold front also approaching, and this cold front will be coming across uh, by Sunday evening. So in, uh, there's likely to be some uh, very moist, warm, uh, or hot and unstable air uh, behind this warm front, and we expect to see some shower and thunderstorm development in this this area. And these storms will move out into the lake, and this could some of these storms could be severe. So it's in this uh, time period with, between the warm front and the cold front, I think, uh, and during the day on Sunday when we have the highest risk of uh, of severe weather uh, impacting the fleet. And here's the forecast for Sunday morning as the warm front moves north. We've got the uh, uh, flow going into the south and then that flow starts to pick up on uh, during the day on Sunday. So a uh, fairly brisk southerly with that cold front approaching. But again, keep in mind this is the time period when we could be seeing thunderstorms moving across the lake and then thunderstorms will upset this wind field. So the model makes it look like a very simple southerly building southerly wind field. But if storms are moving out into the lake, you'll need to be aware of gusts and significant wind shifts uh, being generated by those uh, rain cells. And remember that the wind tends to flow from the cells, so it'll shift to flow out of out of the cells, blowing out. Uh, here's the forecast chart now on Sunday evening, and we see the cold front uh, moving across the lake at this time. The warm front's well and truly out to the east, so the southwest winds will be shifting more to a west and tending northwesterly. Here is the forecast for uh, uh, wind field for Sunday, and you can see the uh, front I've drawn in there, the front moving east across uh, southeast across the lake with uh, south and southwest winds shifting to uh, a westerly on the other side of that. And then as the evening progresses, the winds start to get light again uh, across the uh, across the lake, but generally shifting sort of from a west and northwest conditions. The northern part of the lake could become very, very light uh, for a time after that, that front goes through. And the forecast for Monday morning, the front is uh, out into the eastern lakes at this time, and we've got northwest flow coming across the lake. And here's the wind field for, for Monday. We can see a building west and northwest wind across most of the lake at this time. And uh, that wind kind of peaks uh, during the day on Monday and then eases off uh, uh, later on Monday as a high pressure area is expected to build in uh, from the east. And we see that on, on this chart here. So the last chart I have are just some routes from boats um, of some optimum routes through that predicted wind field uh, for boats of different speeds. Um, they're all basically staying to the western side of the lake uh, where we think that there'll be a little bit better pressure, but uh, these are probably pretty much imaginary because uh, it's going to be very light and I think there's going to be a lot of searching for breeze uh, in that southern half of the lake uh, for that first 24 hours of this race. Um, and in a light race, of course, it's, it's always kind of risky to uh, uh, get too far away from the rum line because you are giving up miles that uh, uh, are difficult to get back in light air. But we do expect once you're up in the middle part of the lake for that 
that prefrontal southeasterly to develop and then eventually the warm front to go through on Sunday which would help to power you back uh, toward the rum line and uh, uh, get back uh, uh, closer to the uh, sort of a more normal course but keep in mind also that it's up in this upper half of the lake where we expect uh, uh, thunderstorms to occur so that's the weather outlook uh, it's going to be as I said quite changeable quite light especially for the first 24 hours so keep uh, up to date with the latest weather forecasts and um, best of luck for everyone and a safe race.